In this video, I want to go over a few tips that can be helpful in the right situation whenever you're working with UVs in 3D Coat. The first thing I want to touch on is taking a mesh that you've recently added into the scene, unwrapping it, and moving it to a current UV set. To do that, I want to go ahead and select this layer. I'm going to go ahead and isolate it by holding on the Alt key and clicking on the visibility icon of the Retopo layer. And now that that's isolated, I don't want to unwrap it into this one just yet. I want to move it later on, but I need to unwrap it into one that doesn't already have a layout done. So I can go to the upper left hand corner and this list menu will allow me to select a UV set that currently exists in the scene. Or I can add a new UV set. I can also delete unused UVs and I can rename a currently selected one. The second list menu will allow me to move whatever faces may be selected to a given UV map that's already created. So I can go right here to this little icon, third from the right, at the bottom of the Retopo Objects panel. Click on that. It's currently assigned to this one, even though it's not unwrapped yet. So I need to assign it to the UV map that I want to unwrap it in. I eventually want to move it into the fuselage, but if I unwrap into this set, it's going to disturb everything else, and I do not want that. The UV map for wings, I think, is blank. These faces are assigned to this UV map. I've already created the seams, and now I'm ready to unwrap it. With one of these chosen, I can go to the tools for the UVs here, which are active now. I'm going to Go ahead and click Unwrap. Now, with that done, I can reselect these. I can drag select over them as well, and then come back to the list menu and move it where I want to place it. And that is this fuselage UV set. Now, it is large. I could have scaled it down previously, but that's okay. All I have to do is select those again, select all faces on layer and I can move it off to the side temporarily. A middle mouse clicking to pan, right middle mouse clicking and dragging left and right to zoom in and out. Okay, so I'll click that one. Adjust it just a bit. And this one. Make sure I'm in the UV tools here. When you click the Select All Faces on Layer, it automatically switches you to the Select tool, so I should mention that. And I have a hotkey for rotating. Now, I'll drag over these two. If you need, you can hit the E key and select a Shape Draw mode to select multiple UV islands, but in this case, just using a brush works just as well in many cases. So let's go ahead and scale those down. And then place them in that open area there. Let me take one of these and I'm just going to manipulate it a bit. Let me use the brush. I'm not clicking and dragging over the UV island to scale my brush up. You can also use your bracket keys on the keyboard. So let's say you don't like your UV islands or you, for whatever reason you need to update it. And you don't want to have to unwrap the entire set, just this shell. To do that, you come over to the UV tools here. Make sure one of these is selected so that your UV tools are active. Let me go to islands. And now... Let's click 2GU, and you'll see it unfolds just the selected UV island. You have other unfolding algorithms that you could use as well, but in this case, 2GU is probably the better one. Also, if you see any stretched polygons, a lot of times it's just because the mesh has been altered significantly. So again, you just use this option to select those stretch polygons and then click 2GU. Also, I need to mention copying and pasting. 
Let me modify this first shell just to demonstrate. Let's say that I want to make it match this one perfectly for whatever reason. I can control C and control V and shabam, there it is. It's been placed and scaled to match this second one. So I'll quickly move these into place. I'm going to speed up the playback while I do it. Scale those down. All right, I've got another stray one here. So what I want to do with this one, I'm going to hit the E key and choose a preform lasso. I'll just select that. And let's make sure that the mesh layer it's on is visible because 3D Coat kind of locks you out from working on it if it's not. So again, I'll select that. Now I can scale it up. Unfold it again or straighten it up to strip. And we are done. I think that's going to conclude this quick tip video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.